Qualitative research is used to uncover and understand thoughts and opinions, thus providing a basis for further decision making. Now girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully, try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. It'll help when it comes to solving the mysteries. Okay, Dorothy. If that's your real name. <laughs> Negatory to your orders to relinquish locality. Circumspect to your observation of said perimeter, we shall proceed to the interior of the dwelling with your accompaniment. Well, I do not copy, repeat, do not copy, ladies. I'm gonna have to ask my sergeant. Your sergeant is here. Hands off. You gals had your game faces on at the academy, I ought to be able to figure this one out. Simple cafe coronary. Freak show choked to death. Questions? Examination of soft palate reveals porcine byproduct lodged in vestibule. Okay, let's do this, honey. Come on, baby. Caulfield shows no signs of trauma to the larynx. His struggle pattern indicates that he didn't choke. He was smothered. Ladies, we got some carnauba residue. Pineapple. Oh, it's sex wax. Best for you, stick. Pardon me? Killer's a surfer. How do you know? He employed the same credit card he uses to scrape wax off his board. He gain entry into the house. Little thrasher scumbag surfers. Freeze! I found a foreign print. He was wearing reissued 1989 Air Jordans. A limited promotional version that was sold only at the Foot Locker in Fontana in the summer of 2002. But there's a discrepancy in weight distribution between the left and right sides. An anterior cruciate ligament that was repaired in the last year. I learn everything I can and I write down everything I see. Goldie says, if I want to be a writer, then I'd better start now. Which is why... I am a spy. Rose, what do you think of Blanche saying these things? I think she's a good karma knocker. <laughs> well, what exactly does that mean? Literally, it's the precise moment when dog dude turns white. <laughs> It refers to the kind of person you don't want to share your hooden goggles with. <laughs> Rose, if you say one more of those stupid words, oh, I'm so going out just hooden verbals. <laughs> Can I ask a dumb question? <laughs> Better than anyone I know. I just have to see what Joe has to say about all of this. <laughs> oh, you. You just have to see what Joe has to say about all this, huh? And this Joe, would he happen to be Joe Mama? <laughs> what am I gonna do? These costumes are gonna be ghastly. What's CC right? I mean, have I let my judgment be impaired by my feelings for Miss Fine? What feelings are those, sir? Well, you know. No, I don't, sir. Oh, come on, Niles. Oh, but you'd feel so much better if you just said it. <laughs> oh, perhaps you're right. Maybe I should just admit that I... Knock, knock. Oh, wait! <laughs> yes. I was washing my hair. Where is she going with this? Have a little faith, Julie. Um, Miss Wyndham, what had you done earlier that day? I got up, got a latte, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Were you got in the shower? I believe the witness has made it clear that she was in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Um... This window. 
Had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. How many would you say? Two a year since I was 12. You do the math. You know, a girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. We all tried to talk her out of it. Girls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your bone structure. But thankfully, that same day, she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection. Why is this relevant? Oh, I have a point, I promise. Then make it. Yes, Um, tell me, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because they got wet? Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thiglocalate? Yes. And wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? What? And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? She's my age. Did she tell you that? How would you feel if your father married someone who was your age? You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Tutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Order, order. Order. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bailiff, take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go.